the next question is from Jenny. She emailed in. So Jenny emailed in asking if we can help her decide on the on what LP head sail she should get for the boat. So uh, Jenny, we're gonna have to have a chat about what boat you have, uh, but I can give you a bit of a rundown. So give us a call. We can look into the actual boat further so we can give real advice based on your situation. Uh, but right now, I didn't see in the system, so I'm just gonna do a little overview. Um, okay, so Jenny, there's a couple things here we're, we're looking at to determine the size of the sail. So we wanna look at how the boat is set up, how the boat is rigged, and we also wanna look at, you know, what are you doing with the boat? Where are you sailing? What are the normal conditions for the that you're sailing in? Are you doing a, you know, you're a weekender that's always sailing in this similar area and the winds are consistently blowing like San Francisco? Or are you in a light wind area like I am in Sydney, uh, BC? And so the sail LP will change, okay? Uh, based on those criteria. So the first one, I'm, I'm just going through some pointers I wrote down. So the first one is gonna be, um, is it a masthead? Is it a fractional rig boat? What is the boat set up for? Because the LP and the balance of the sails between the main sail and the head sail are gonna make a difference. And that's where you're gonna talk to one of our designers if you are fine tuning a sail and you're working with the designers on it. It's really important. Uh, they're gonna go through all of that to make sure that there's a, there is balance between the sails, okay? Um, the rigging part on top of that is we're often restricted by track position, okay? Furling systems, clue heights, like what, what are you looking for out of the sail? So it's on a furling system, um, what are we gonna do with the tack? Where is that gonna hook up? Are we gonna add a pennant and a spacer? And where does the clue sit in position to the clue car or the track or the rail, depending on how you're sheeting the sail? That makes a big difference. If you're not set up, if you have a masthead rig and you're, you want a 150% LP, but your position of your block and track only allow you to have a 135, you have to make a decision then. Do I want to put in and install a new track farther aft or am I gonna make the sail fit the current boat situation? So those are things to look into. Um, pictures of the boat are handy, then we can see what's happening with the track positions and sort of help out as well. That's a really good thing to get your designer. So don't forget, if you're doing a design with one of the, the designers here, just make sure you give them pictures and stuff like that. It all makes a difference, okay? Um, the next thing is, Let's make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, I talked about track positions, I talked about balance, uh, clue heights, all of that will make a difference. So the next one is sailing conditions. You don't wanna be building a sail that's not gonna work for the conditions. A lot of cruisers have an all around furling head sail and that's normally a 135% LP. That's your head sail, it's on a furling system. They take the 135 and they reef it down when the winds pick up and that's totally just fine that's that's a great way of doing it it's really easy um, but everything has to line up so track positions and all that we got to make sure correct um, do you want better visibility things like that so uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that Jenny uh, thanks for the great question and you know sailing conditions make a difference and the boat rig fractional masthead and the details of the boat we can really help uh, figure out what is the best sail give us a call we'd love to help out jenny uh, we'll talk to you soon have a wonderful day jenny